They've been waiting for you. Taking control of this fort will bring peace between your tribes. You better be. A tribe's fort is a bigger challenge than an outpost. They've positioned a storm tower near the fort that you'll use to get over the wall. However, you need to prop up its wheelhouse first to stabilize the situation. They've built the storm tower to protect and get you over the walls of the fortification while keeping an element of surprise. Ride like the wind. It's time to set the rival tribe free. Inflict as little damage as possible as you make your way through to their Sifu. You need to unite the tribes and save the Tree of Life to truly become free. That's a fire starter. The dry grass looks like it would ignite easily. You just need to create a spark to light a fire. It burns brighter than the light.
the bright time is the right time to start your day. That's a pyro sizzler, right there. Just get to work on it. Make it frizzle. Nice crackle. Battering Bonker looks like a great way to get through the gate. Bet you just need to knock and it'll open up. That's bonkers. The Jagni tribe wants to become omnipresent and, most importantly, feared. They want to vanquish the tribes as the only way they can guarantee peace is through supremacy. He didn't expect it would go down this way. It'll be hard to talk your way out of a fight. He believes a fight won't settle who is right, just who's left. The rival Sifu is defeated, and the destiny of their tribe is in your hands. You are free to choose their fate, but not free from the consequences of your choice. He'll leave it up to you to decide the fate of the rival Sifu, but suggests you be merciful, do good. Thinks it's a good gesture to offer support to others when you can see that they need it. And with that, you're spinning your own fate, good or bad, never 
to be undone. Side by side they'll stand until order and stability is reinstituted. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wung Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. Your Sifu is pleased. You're one step closer to uniting the tribes. It's a pity you needed to use force to get the point across. But he's still concerned about the fate of the world. Believes the war you wage is based on the principle that if you win, the end will justify the means. He says you've grown so much stronger than when you first met. You know better than anyone that the fate of the world is still at stake. You need a world where everyone is guided only by their conscience. The fate of the world depends on the triumph of good. The Tree of Life still stands, and it's up to you to make sure it does so to the end. 